What up, ladies? Leon Trotsky here. Look at that scoreboard. I already have 850 points. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not start recording this game from the very beginning, but I promise you it's still worth it. Welcome to the revolution, ladies. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, you know how we do, keeping it real. And today we are playing on Trotsky's Bay. <laughs> and uh, if you guys don't know the reference, it is in reference to one of Stoneface Locke's early videos where he was on Stone's Bay, you know, doing the stone scoping and uh, just kind of keeping it real. And so that's one of the first videos that I started watching. I just still remember it to this day. And here we get a def defensive hold on the last base in Nelson Bay, last bomb site. I spawned in. They only had one bomb site left, Bravo. And I spawned in and they still had about s probably a pretty full ticket count, you know, almost 60. In the very beginning here, you see they had about above 40. And I already had 850 points, which probably means I had, you know, somewhere around 10 kills or so with the shotgun. And I'm running the recon kit. Same, same way Stone Face Lock does it, but I do it a little bit differently, especially on defense. On these tight maps, is very useful to run a shotgun. Just makes sense. And that's one of the things that I think... Uh, should have been used in the in instead of the four time scope is it just should have players should have been forced to use a shotgun instead I, I they're very useful i'm running lightweight shotgun upgrade and i got that you know i'm why why like a boss you can hate if you need to but doing work and doing work well so here you see just kind of holding them down you see what you're going to see a lot in this gameplay is using the recon ball making sure the base is cleared out and then towards the end you'll see a few fails and then just that final spree for the win is what you need to do so that's a little preview of the game but we'll keep it real like i said recon balls out like crazy and knowing when there's anybody around the base and the recon balls really help in that so here i kind of already killed the last four guys that were near the base or pretty much in the bomb site and I get I'm able to push out and kind of clear any guys that are going to be flanking around us because that's what I like to do flank around and get a different line of sight than coming directly at the bomb site while people still in this Bravo bomb site can can move directly at it and move around the back side and push up through the ladder in the back rooms uh, a lot of people like to move up towards the old bomb site and get lines of sight in there and just kind of hold people down from moving and once we do get pushed back like, I, you'll see towards the end here, I do get pushed back off the bomb site, and I do get held back a couple times by people getting those line of sight from the old bomb site. So, it's just a very important thing to take care of. And here, I'm playing with a bunch of randoms, guys. I do not know any of these people. I jumped in this game at random. It's probably real late at night. And I'm like, I'm going to do fucking work, dog. <laughs> I just got busy with the shotgun. And I, I've been getting busy. with. They're already down to 20 tickets. The rest of my team was doing well as well. Well as well as well as well. But... The recon balls is what helped out, and it made it clutch. And I will admit, I think when I first spawned in this game before I started recording, uh, I was not using the recon kit. And then I started realizing how much of an influence the recon balls were going to make on this fight. And I honestly think that me switching over to the recon kit before I started recording, obviously, but be me switching over to the recon kit, I believe won this, won this game. And that's one of the things that the recon kit, I believe, is one of the most powerful with those recon balls. And, you know, you can argue against me, obviously, on defense at least. I believe that's the case on defense. I think defense recon is very important to have. Recon and engineer all the way. Obviously, you need some people giving you assault kits eventually, but on defense, you should be playing aggressively enough and not just sitting back and camping that you're going to die and replenish your ammo. Like, that's my kind of line of sight. Like, if I run out of ammo, I'm just going to rush at the enemy and take down as many as I can with me until I have to respawn and get more ammo and get more rocket launchers, you know, if I'm using an engineer, get more C4, or whatever I need, you know. That's just kind of how my thought process goes. But once again, you see me, as soon as I spawn in almost every single life, you're going to see me throw a, uh, a motion mine. And here I'm... I Another big thing about me using the recon kit is I, I like unlocking the recon weapons. I love the Gull Sniper Rifle. And if you guys missed my uh, one-man army montage, it is from games past this. So I had, uh, you know, the Gull Sniper Rifle and Magnum Ammo, and it just makes a huge difference. And it just Once you get Magnum Ammo, it just I turn into beast mode in this game a lot more often than I normally do. So... Once again, you see here, I kind of assume that we have everybody cleared out directly around the bomb site, and they start, you know, they're blowing shit up near it. I'm assuming they're shooting 40 mils, but I'm still trying to make sure the back is clear. I probably should have thrown a motion mine out because, you know, personally, I like to go up that way. But you see, instead, I try to move up to the, uh, the ceiling here and just get any... By moving up here, it allows me... Ugh, excuse me. It allows me to throw motion balls a lot further, and it gives me a better idea of, you know, where the enemy is going to be coming from allows me to spot people give my team a better idea of where the enemy is going to be coming from and it's just one of those things getting that uh, better line of sight where the enemy here comes that string of deaths and i 
I'll admit I started getting a little aggressive because I saw how good I was doing and how well I wanted I wanted this win. I felt that this was going to be an awesome game. You know, I'd been playing well. I wanted to win this, spawning it at the very end. I was just like, oh, I'm going to get this win. And I started being very aggressive. I want to get that ace pin spawning in at the last base. But it did. I didn't get the ace pin, but we still get the win. They're, I mean, they're down to 10 tickets here, and they actually hold the 10 tickets. You know, it takes us a, a few minutes here to get the 10 tickets. I definitely die a couple times, you know. Little, stupid little fail. Just awareness fail. A guy was sitting right underneath me. Had I waited an extra second, he would have ran up the stairs. Or, you know, I could have done a little bit of different jump, and I would have got him. And we eventually get pushed all the way back to spawn. Luckily, we spawn right there. And, you know, I try and get that motion ball out, and I get a grenade out instead. And get picked up again, get picked up again. I'm getting nervous here. I'm getting nervous. I don't know. They're down to just a few tickets here. And they're moving in, they're getting aggressive, they're trying to push the bomb site. So I got a few seconds to spawn. Luckily my team, I'm, I'm trying to call out that the, the enemy team's right near there. I get the motion ball as soon as I spawn in. Oh, oh, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot. Try, I know where it's coming from, coming from the left. They're pushing from the right, I get put down again. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we're going to get the hold. I was getting so nervous here, just trying to call out anything to my team. And I see my team got pushed, my squad got pushed back too. We're back towards the helicopter in the back bomb side. I'm just, I, luckily I got lightweight on there. They get it set, trying to push in. We got six tickets left. This is an important thought. I moved to the back of the base. I know they're going to be camping this back room. I know they've been doing it. The whole Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Came in the back room. Like four tickets. They revived. Five tickets. Three tickets. Two tickets. One ticket. Oh, last guy hit marker in the corner. Oh, my God. And we win. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, what a game. What a game. And it's not just a fake your winning screen. You know what I mean? Like, we got the win. They didn't get the bomb playing it. We got that last kill. Oh, what an exciting game. I, I wish I could have recorded the whole thing because the very beginning of it was very exciting as well. I obviously missed a few kills because the final score is 20 and 12. The end of it, you know, I kind of slowed down a little bit, getting too aggressive, trying to get everybody out of the bomb. But we still got that uh, rush winner pin, and I was close to the ace, a couple hundred points off. But actually, no, 4,000 points. Somebody just does not know how to play the objective on the other team. But Leon Trotsky, you know we do. Keeping a real more revolution on the way. Ladies, keep your panties on. Until next time.